The Lee Summit Police Department just finished a renovation on their building. It's quite fancy. Let's take a tour. Our building is now over 20 years old. And as, as time has gone and Lee Summit has grown, so has the police department and the needs of the services that we give to the community. So we found that uh, the biggest bang for our buck would be to renovate our building instead of building new. Uh, so with that, we started back in 2018, did a space needs study, uh, found that uh, we could maximize a lot of the space within here to give us the, uh, the extra space we needed for the additional growth that we need. The space needs study proved that we could gain the extra space we needed to prepare for the additional employees in the future within the footprint that we already had. Our workforce is becoming much more diverse now. Uh, our women in law enforcement has grown and Lee Summit is no different. Uh, the locker room was at full capacity. That's one example of the areas that we needed to grow. Uh, additionally, our detective unit is uh, maxed out, so we were able to find ways to refigure that area uh, and gain some additional workspace for that unit. Moving forward with the uh, security enhancements and different rules and laws that have changed over time, we found that we were lacking in areas of security, uh, primarily in our lobby. We were able to beef up our lobby security, but still uh, provide that um, open and welcoming experience for all of our customers. Our project was funded uh, from 2019, uh, no tax increase bond. The bond was passed originally for $19 million and that was uh, for additional uses other than just the police department. It was a, considered a public safety enhancement initiative. We've gained more space, which I think helps people spread out, uh, but also I think work efficiency. We've seen uh, the workflow improve throughout the building. And again, those security enhancements, there's probably just a, you know, an added sense of security within our uh, employee base, uh, but also for the public that comes, uh, that we service each day. This was a challenging project. For one, we lived through the project. So we uh, decided to stay in this construction space as we did this. We did move uh, our operations division out, which was about 90 employees, but that meant the other half of our employee base, 100 uh, stayed and we, we lived through the construction process. While challenging, it was interesting to see the, uh, the spaces change and uh, advance, uh, but I think uh, collectively we're all glad to be done and have that behind us.